everybody, this is Praxis, and today I'm out in front of the house to show you what I'm not working on. Uh, the reason I wanted to show this is because we haven't been out here, and there's a specific reason why I'm not working out here. It's a nice clean day, it's great for doing exterior wallboards, and I am doing exterior wallboards on the interior of the greenhouse. And the reason that I've stopped working out here is because the boards below the windows, between the windows, and above those windows up there, they're all short lengths. Uh, and this is the kind of uh, a length of board that you might get from scrap from cutting a longer board. So I don't want to be taking full length boards, chopping them up into smaller pieces here, when I might be getting those pieces of scrap for free, you know, working on something else. So I'm in the greenhouse working on long board sections, uh, seeing what I get for scrap, whatever scrap I get from that that works for this. I've got the dimensions for these uh, these little gaps written down up by where I'm cutting. And when I get pieces of scrap, I, I you know check the length of it and see if it's appropriate for it. And I've labeled them A, B, and C, and I'm just writing an A, B, or a C on the back of it, setting it aside, and then I'll be able to throw it in here. Now, I don't think we're gonna get enough scrap from doing the interior of both greenhouses that this will all get all filled in, but we'll be able to get a bunch of it, and it'll avoid cutting up a long board needlessly when we might have gotten the scrap for free. On the topic of upstairs, uh, we're not working up there right now because it's a nice day for working outside, but it did come out really well. I was up there this morning, and I uh, took a, a rag, I went up in sock feet, and just wiped down the whole surface of the floor. Yesterday, it took about eight hours to do the entire uh, uh, floor surface. It was really grueling work, not my favorite job in the world to do. Uh, but this morning it went pretty quick, just taking a rag and wiping off the excess stain. Now I mentioned earlier that I was planning on doing this initial staining, which we just did, then do a light sanding pass to kind of bring out the contrast in the wood, and then do another layer of a, a lighter type of stain, and then seal it after that. I don't think that we need to do that second light sanding pass, because in just taking the rag and uh, rubbing the rag over it, it really brought out the contrast in the wood, where part, there were parts of the wood that absorbed more stain, and they stayed dark, and there were parts of uh, the wood, like the knots, that didn't absorb as much stain, and they wiped off uh, 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 you know, to become lighter. So uh, I was able to achieve what I was hoping to do with the sanding pass with just wiping it with a rag. So I, th I think we're going to be able to skip the sanding pass. And after this stuff dries, maybe a couple more days, we're going to do an another pass of that kind of lighter stain. And you'll get to see what that looks like when we get to that point. But for today and tomorrow, we're outside doing exterior boards, taking advantage of, you know, it's a nice day today. It's warm, it's sunny, it's good for sealing boards, and I should, I should probably get back. That's it. Thanks for watching.